Christ. Shalom. I'd like to start off by giving all praise, glory, and honor be to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS, better known as Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, the tabernacle of David, beginning with 144,000 and the rest of the men, women, and children whom the Lord will have mercy upon out of the 12 tribes. And um, I'm your brother, Matizabath, and um, this is going to be the second attempt of um, doing this lesson. The first attempt, I thought that uh, the screen record went all the way through, but it seems that um, the video cut out just about three minutes in. So, Yahweh Ratizah, Lord willing, this doesn't cut out this time dealing with the audio. Now, this is uh, breaking news updated about four hours ago, and it says uh, from the BBC News article, the U.S. moves warships closer to Israel after Hamas attack. OK, and we know the situation. All right. Just a little over 24 to 48 hours ago, dealing with the um, the controversy that's taking place over there in the Holy Land today between the two heathen nations being the Edomites, the chief of the uh, Edomites being the Amalekites. All right. Which are claiming to be. The uh, Ish people over there in the land today, as well as uh, Ishmael, all right, um, which them being uh, deemed as the Palestinians, which they are not the uh, ancient Palestinians today, okay? And so this is uh, playing into prophecy because, as the scripture states, all right, let's get um, real quick. This is uh, the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter 49, and verse 20, straight to the point. And it reads, it says, therefore, hear the counsel of Yahweh that he have taken against Edom and his purposes that he have purpose against the inhabitants of Teman. And surely the least of the flock shall draw them out and surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. Salakia put on disturb. Right. So what is this saying here? Well, we know that. Babylon, a great America, supports Israel. All right. Sends them billions of dollars annually. OK. And the way that the stage is being set. All right. This could be the start. All right. Of uh, all of these nations. All right. Coming against not only one another, but mainly Babylon, the great. Now we understand. All right. When we go through the prophecies, we are yet to await one major prophecy in the scriptures which is revelation all right the 13th chapter dealing with the motb which is the rfid c hip okay so world war three will not come first and then the motb come right after no the N motb has to come first before the destruction okay now earlier this morning uh pulling up this article i ended up finding this article by uh wsj and it says Iran helped plot attack on Israel over several weeks. All right. So what they're saying here is that Iran could possibly be behind the attack of supporting Hamas to do what they did. OK, against Israel. Now, we know this plays a part of biblical prophecy because let's go to Ezekiel, the 38th chapter. All right. And this whole chapter is fire. And I'm going to start at the top. It says uh, Ezekiel chapter 38 and verse one. And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal and prophesied against him. All right. Because right now. All right. Um, the region of Magog is in Russia and that land originally belonged to the true Japhetic uh, nation of people. All right. Which today will be your so-called. Polynesians and Islanders and stuff when you go into uh, secular history. But when the Edomites came into power, all right, they took over that land. Hence, verse three, it says, and say, thus said the Lord Yahweh, behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. Why? Because the people that are controlling that land today are the Edomites. OK. And they, you know, they call themselves Russians. Right. So it says. Verse four, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws 
and I will bring thee forth and all thy army, horses and horsemen, and all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields and all of them handling swords. All right. And basically what this is going into is that the heavenly father, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, is going to put the spirit, OK, on uh, the Russians, Vladimir Putin and them. To do what? Uh, to give them that uh, old Soviet Union fighting spirit. All right. And that's the reason why, you know, Russia is, um, you know, making moves with all of these other nations being a guard unto them. All right. As it goes uh, into furthermore, when you read this chapter. All right. Signing uh, deals, mili supplying military weapons and, uh, you know, armor and all the all of those sorts. Right. Verse five, it says Persia. OK, which your Persians today is your uh, Iran, basically. All right. Elam. It says Ethiopia and Libya, which is put, which is all uh, 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 North Africa. When you go into it, it says with them and all of them with shield and helmet and Gomer and all of his bands, the house of Togoma of the north quarters and all of his bands and many people with thee. And when you deal with uh, Gomar and Togomar, these are ancient names for Turkey. All right. Showing you that Turkey's going to get involved now dealing with Turkey. I found this article on the uh, just about two to three days ago. All right. Channel nine's new uh, channel nine news dot com uh, by CNN. It says U.S. fighter jet downs a drone belonging to NATO ally Turkey over Syria. Official says. All right. And um, basically. Um, we just going to have to observe and sit back to see what Turkey does, because this could be the uh, jump off of, um, you know, Babylon and Greats allies turn it against her. All right. We don't know. I'm just speculating, you know, but the prophecy does state that. Um, let's see here. Salakia. Revelation 17 to 16, it says in the 10 horns, which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. All right. So we know. All right. Out of uh, NATO. All right. Some of the allies, they're going to turn against Babylon the Great. OK. And, um, you know, is it yet. Remains to be seen what's going to come out of that situation with uh, Babylon and Great shooting down their own allies drone. All right. But anyway, nevertheless, um, you know, going back to uh, this topic here. All right. Because, you know, Amalek. All right. Being over there in the Holy Land today with the U.S. moving in, uh, you know, military aid across the ocean to help them out. You have. Remember, Iran uh, at the forefront and Iran is a part of BRICS nations. Now, this can be the ultimate setup because think about it. Um, Russia is back in Iran. So if Iran gets involved, all right, that would make, you know, it will only make sense for Russia to also intervene. All right. And there's your World War Three. Now, going into the scriptures, we know that the Lord stated, let's get Zephaniah three in verse eight. Which states, therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord Yahweh, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. All right. So the Lord, is, you know, he uh, as the scripture says in Isaiah, the 13th chapter, he mustereth the host of the battle. OK. And really, it's for the controversy of Zion. All right. And that's in Isaiah, the 34 chapter. Now, um, when you understand the war that's going on over there right now between Israel and Palestine, neither one of those nations belong in that land. All right. Because the Lord simply stated in Joel, the third chapter. All right. Let's get straight to the point. Verse two, it says, I will also gather all nations. And will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat or Yahweh Shapat, all right, which means the valley of decisions, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, 
whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. OK, they parted the land, showing you that what we in the time of Luke, the 21st chapter, when Yahweh Shah said at the let's grab that real quick. This is uh, the book of Luke 21 straight to the point in uh, verse 24, which says, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations, which that happened to our people and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And we're in that time right now, because going back to um, Ezekiel, the 38th chapter. All right. Israel, along with Babylon, is going to be destroyed. All right. Because we got to get those heathens up out of our land. All right. Ezekiel 38 and 8, it says, and after many days, thou shalt be visited in the latter years, which we're, you know, we're here in the latter years. Thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword and is gathered out of many people against the mountains of Israel. So the actual region of Israel, which have always been waste, but it is brought forth out of the nations and they shall dwell uh, safely, all of them. So that's going into Salakia. That's going into when um, the Lord will gather his elect from the four quarters of the earth and bring us back into the Holy Land. All right. After we uh, pretty much clear out the heathen. All right. We're going to dwell safely, man. We're going to be um, there's not going to be any more wars anymore, showing you that those are not the people in the land. OK, that, that those are not the people in the land, because when you get Isaiah, the second chapter. All right. Straight to the point. Isaiah two and four says, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks because they're going to get straight to work once the kingdom of heaven is established and nations shall not lift up sword against nation and neither shall they learn war anymore. All right. Now, if they're claiming to be the people that are over in the land, why you why you just declare it war? There shouldn't be any war anymore which shows you that they don't fit the prophecies. You see? So, hey, man, you know, this is why, you know, the scripture says, you know, for us to um, measure the time diligently in itself. All right. And, hey, the Lord is working a mighty work, man. He's really gathering um, all of these nations. All right. He's putting it in the minds. Uh, let's, let's grab that. Proverbs, the 21st chapter, uh, verse one, it says the king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh as the rivers of water. He turneth it whithersoever he will. Okay. Showing you there's no free will. All right. The scriptures even tell you that the counsel of Yahweh shall stand. Let's grab that. Right. Let's lock in. Probably spelling it wrong. Yep, this is um, Proverbs chapter 19 and verse 21. And it reads, it says, there are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of Yahweh that shall stand. OK, because the Lord's will. All right. Um, you know, even when we said in our daily uh, prayer. All right. On earth as it is in heaven. All right. Let the Lord's will be done on earth as it is in heaven, man. All right. And you can best, you know, best believe that, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the kingdom will be established on the planet earth. All right. And it will be set up righteousness. You know, that's why it says in the book of Hebrews, all right, we, um, we search for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth, uh, dwelleth uh, righteousness, <laughs> you know? So, you know, we, uh, we're here, man. This is, um, you know, it, it remains to be seen. All right. What's going to happen? Because as I stated with this situation playing out. All right. That's also grab uh, Matthew, the 24, uh, 24th chapter, because we understand the times that we're in. All right. Matthew 24 and six. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars and see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. That's why I stated that um, the major prophecy that we're waiting for is um the MOTB. Okay, cuz World War 3 can't happen 
until World War, uh, sorry, World War Three cannot happen. All right. Full scale until the RFID C hip is implemented. All right. Then all hell, you know, is going to uh, break loose. All right. So that's why we're just, you know, as the scripture says, we need to continue to be on our watch. All right. We need to watch as well as pray. Matthew, the 26th chapter, you know, and, um, you know, these are the signs, man, that the Lord, you know, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right. He's making his second return, man. You know, so, hey, we living in some, you know, exciting times, man. All right. And, um, you know, we got to put the word out. We got to keep pushing. All right. We got to keep fishing for the uh, elect until the Lord pulls uh, the men of the Lord back. That famine of the word, man. So with that, you know, I pray that this, uh, you know, quick little lesson was edifying. All right. Keeping the sheep up to date with what's going on in the times. All right. As the scripture says, measure uh, the times diligently within itself. All right. So with that, I want to give all praise, glory and honor be to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS, better known as Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect, beginning with the 144,000 and the rest of the men, women and children of the 12 tribes who the Lord will have mercy upon. Shalom.